Howdy there. So uh, yesterday I saw an incredibly important and mesmerizing film. Uh, the Cave of Forgotten Dreams. Um, it's a new documentary from Werner Herzog. Uh, it documents the uh, basically the interior of I can't remember the name of the cave um, in France um, in 1994 98 no it was in the 90s uh, normal people average people um, I guess hikers explorers just amateur uh, happened across a cave um, Really, they happened to cross an air vent and shimmied their way through there. And when they did, they discovered the oldest art known to man. Uh, some 32 to 35,000 year old cave paintings done by the earliest man. Uh, so the the film is basically Werner Herzog bringing in a high quality camera crew. This film was shot entirely uh, with 3D cameras and 3D film. Uh, so it's a 3D picture and it's absolutely beautiful. I I think I'm going to give it a 9, though I kind of want to give it a 10, but that's purely purely an emotional 10. Uh, this film is incredibly important. I think everyone, if you are human, you should see this film. Because it is important to humanity. Uh... I say nine because it's technically nothing too fantastic. I mean, I think uh, anyone with a relative knowledge of film, of lighting, could have done this um, just because it's mostly uh, just documentation of this incredibly important historical find. Uh, so I think that, again, you get a, just a film school graduate in there with a knowledge of lighting, it's still going to be an important film. But this time it's made by Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog has kind of slowly become one of my favorite directors, and really it's come out of nowhere. And I say that just because he's made... Uh, Amazing films in the last few years. It spoke to me. Uh, I guess my love affair started with Grizzly Man, which uh, I think was probably the first Werner Herzog film I've seen. And I loved Grizzly Man. I think it was maybe my number one film or number two film of the year it came out. Uh, I loved it. it made me cry. Uh, spoke to my soul. Uh, then he made uh, Bad Lieutenant. Port of Call, New Orleans, which I gave my number one you know, pick to the year it came out. Uh, it's a film that I love uh, that energizes me and in inspires me. So, and now we've got, and he's made some other films since, but now he's made Cave of Forgotten Dreams. And again, he's really got the scoop here. I mean, he scooped everyone. Because again, this is pretty cut and dry. It's just exposing the world to the world's oldest art. Um, perhaps one of the most important archaeological finds uh, in human history. Um, so really he kind of got the scoop on everyone. Uh, and I don't know, he deserves praise for that. And there is a certain amount of ego in the film slightly turned me off, just ever so slightly, 
but again, you got to give him credit. He got there first, you know. It was his idea to shoot it, you know. Werner wins. Um, but I think you can kind of tell that he's very proud of himself for scooping everyone, which is fine, you know. Uh, ego is human, I suppose. Uh, it's very trippy. Um, the soundtrack is great. It it basically, again, like some of the scenes, is just like a ten minute, maybe not that long, but also you know a ten minute pan. You know, just the camera focuses on the wall and just pans around, and you get to see the interior of the cave as if you were standing there um, and admiring the art that is thirty-five thousand years old. Uh, so again, it's very like steady. Um, some may call it a little boring because um, again, stationary—not maybe stationary, but long panning shots of cave walls. You know, it may not be riveting, uh, but it is amazing. Uh, The can it I, I say it was very trippy because the the camera, uh, you know, the lighting is very tricky. Um, the soundtrack is very like chanty and given this ancient. I mean, it just adds to the feeling of you are in another time and place. Um, so it really adds to that. Uh, I wouldn't go so far as to call it psychedelic, but it is like kind of trippy, uh, especially when combined with that very eerie music and just the eerie feeling that the film gives. Uh, one thing that I loved is uh, at one point they talk about how everyone, from the people who discovered the cave uh, to the film crew making the film, talk about how when they are in the cave, it feels like they are being watched. Like, uh, you know, that's it. You know, you don't really need to say much else, but that everyone has gotten the feeling that when they stand there, something, something that is not there visibly is watching them and looking at them. That feeling is conveyed, and I know that's kind of odd to say, but when you're looking at the paintings, uh, I couldn't help but feel that something was looking back at me, um, which kind of, at the end, he kind of makes a point like that. Um, Though, when we were walking out, uh, everyone, and when I say we, I mean the audience, uh, people were talking amongst themselves about, so what, you know, what was the point? I mean, again, he makes this kind of like weird, I mean, his, his point that he wants to make. He makes it at the very end, and then the movie's over, and, and you're kind of left sitting there, you know, pondering, and, you know, scratching your head a bit. But... When you were looking at those paintings, when you were looking at artwork, beautiful line strokes, beautiful artwork that's 35,000 years old, you can't help but feel tiny. You know, it... Uh, awesome, and I'm guilty of this, awesome is overused as a word. This film is truly awesome. You know, it is awe-inspiring. It makes you have a deep realization. If you don't have that deep realization, then, I don't know, you've got issues. Uh, there is a deep realization of history. 
uh, that you don't really get. I mean, I, I've been in, you know, the Museum of Modern Art and uh, Natural History Museum, and I've seen what up to uh, recently has been considered the world's oldest art, like Roman uh, pottery, Egyptian uh, cave or carvings. Uh, and still, I mean, that uh, don't get me wrong, that's amazing stuff. But still, having this be some, you know, twice as old and really just beautifully intricate that it's, it's humbling. You know, it's humbling. Um, <laughs> you know, I couldn't help but think, who am I? You know, who am I? And that's what this film does. It opens your eyes, I think. So it's incredibly important. I, I mean, it gets a documentary, and I always say that you should probably watch any documentary over any scripted film any time because one, it's about the world that we inhabit. Uh, it's usually trying to get it a, a point that's um, uh, important across to the mass audience uh, and hopefully something that will make uh, society do something. Uh, so I don't know if there will be a more important film this year. Again, the fact that it's so simple is why I don't give it a 10 outright. Uh, but in its simplicity, it's, an, it's elegant. Uh, and incredibly powerful. Um, I, I didn't cry, but you cannot help but feel emotional. Uh, you can't help but feel like a part of something much, much bigger than you ever dreamed possible. Uh, it's a wonderful film. It's a wonderful film. It's important. Uh, and again, it's shot it was made in 3D and is shown in 3D and it should be seen on the big screens. You really get the texture of the rock. You see the contours of the cave. It's amazing. Uh, you know, 3D really pisses me off mostly for the big action budget movies. But uh, that's conversion. This was filmed in 3D and it uh, is absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I had an amazing time in the theater. Uh, because I will probably never get to go to that cave in France, you know. Uh, in fact, you can't go to the cave in France. They are building a replica um, of the cave, like, two miles away, so that you can go to the cave, but not go to the cave. Um, because, again, it's incredibly delicate ecosystem. Um... So that's it. I mean, I, I love this film. I doubt I'll get to see it again. Uh, I wish I could. And I doubt I'd buy this just because, you know, I don't know. Uh, but it is important. I think every human should see it. Um, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a historical document. And it's a glimpse... It's a glimpse into your own soul, you know? You go, you watch the movie, you'll see yourself. That's the uh, Cave of Forgotten Dreams. Um, it's a solid nine. Uh, probably the most important film of the year. Thank you.